Hey, what's up guys? Adam from IamTheTrend.com and more importantly, the new IamTheTrend.com. Um, last Friday, February 11th, the new I Am The Trend was launched. Um, so far, the response has been great. If you haven't checked out the website, please take a second and do so. Um, I'd love to hear any and all feedback. Um, with the new website, we basically try to just clean everything up, make it real uh, concise, simple, um, and clean. Um, by doing that, we added uh, a bunch of new subcategories. So instead of just clothing, there's clothing resources, clothing lists, there's clothing uh, quick tips. And um, we basically do it for each category on the website. So it's really easy uh, to find what you're looking for. So make sure to check that out. Um, also, any articles that you like on the website, please take a second and retweet them out or Facebook it. Um, it means the world to me. It really helps the site uh, continue to grow and uh, gain more viewers with more viewers. Um, it makes it a lot easier for me to keep uh, keep the site up and uh, put the full attention that it needs into it. So um, all your tweets, Facebook likes, uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, they all go noticed and appreciated. So um, keep up that great work. One other thing that I've noticed on the website since we've relaunched it uh, last week is a lot more comments coming into the website. Um, which I absolutely love to see. Um, so if you ever have any opinions about anything I write about, feel free to leave it in the comments section and uh, I'll respond to you. So uh, make sure to check that out. So um, new business at hand, or the business at hand rather, uh, we have two t-shirt uh, t companies, I can't talk tonight, two t-shirt companies review tonight. One is civilian clothing and one is perception apparel. So let's just get right into this. First one up is... Civilian Clothing, they're based out of Las Vegas, one of my favorite places in the world where I got married. Uh, been there a bunch of times, but these guys come from Las Vegas, and this is the package that they sent. Um, a priority mailer. As always, a breakdown of the four Ps, packaging, price, printing, and presentation. So packaging first up, um, just a USPS mailer with a handwritten label, tisk tisk. Uh, not a huge fan of handwritten labels. Um, you can easily print out labels uh, through most Microsoft Word and label making um, software really easily, or you can do it straight through PayPal. Um, I know I mentioned this before. If you go to um, your local Walmart, Office Max, I don't know, Office Supply Store, and uh, you can pick up labels pretty cheap that you can just print directly on. So um, just a little bit there. So before we grade the packaging completely, let's see what else we got. Um, the t-shirt comes bagged in a tea bag, which is always a nice touch, especially when shipping in that uh, USPS mailer. Just keeps everything a lot nicer, fresher, cleaner, drier. So that's what the t-shirt bag looks like. Let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what's inside. Let's see the good stuff. Off the bat, I see a, a lot of extras, which is cool. Love me some extras, tons of buttons, stickers, what have you, employees all out here. Um, buttons. It's all good stuff to have if you have a t-shirt uh, line. Load up your load up your customers with extras. They like extras. Um, no one has ever been pissed off from getting more than they expected in the mail. So uh, it's not gonna show all these, but little G.I. Joe, civilian clothing. Let me get that. Sorry, I get the bad lighting today and every day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, some more buttons, all good stuff. And then we got some civilian stickers. Cool. And then, um, not sure what this is, but civilian crew. You can hang that up on your wall. Maybe put a tack through it, hang it up. You got a little letter. They're fans of the site and what I do for indie companies. Well, thank you. Um, thank you for checking out and talent. Hope I enjoy the shirts and goodies. Will do. Uh, P.S. When washing tees turn inside out and air dry for best results. It's always a good tip. Thank you very much. Um, these are all printed on All Style as well. So, All Style, good tee. So, let to show off something. Most... Most of what we get here is American Apparel, Tall Tex, and Anvil 980s, and even lately, uh, Guild and Soft Style shirts with a really grown the leg. So, uh, changing it up with the L Style, and here is their design. Um, packaging overall, um, a C. 
which saved it was all the extras and goodies, the outside poly mailer and the handwritten label. Not so good, uh, but hopefully they get that corrected. So here is their first t-shirt, or only t-shirt they sent me rather. Um, their tees run $20. They have about five different designs on their website right now and one hoodie. Uh, as far as printing goes, printing feels really nice. I mean, it's hard to mess up a one color print. Um, but it has happened in the past. It feels very nice. I believe on the back they have uh, their logo, which is cool. Also, T tag printed on the inside. Always good stuff. Just adds little extra bits of uh, finishing and professionalism. Um, All style T, definitely not as soft as American Apparel um, or even the Guild and Soft Styles. Just, it's a little bit. You can feel it's heavier. I, I think this is probably a six ounce um, tee, and uh, which you know some people did. I know uh, Fright Rags was using All Style for a while. I'm not sure if they still are uh, because it's a good in between tee. It's a good tee for people that don't like the American Apparel um, fashion fit lightweight t-shirts and um, people that don't necessarily like you know a, a Gildan or Anvil basic t-shirt. It's definitely heavier weight than your typical fashion fit tee, um, which is not bad at all. You know, you got to really gauge your audience. I know, as I mentioned, Fright Rags, they did a poll. They pulled their audience for a long time, and um, or their long time audience. They pulled them and uh, asked them what they wanted to wear. And surprisingly, it came back that they wanted just basic uh, guild and tees, heavyweight tees. And um, like I said, they eventually moved to All Style, which is a good... Um, in between, between an American Apparel and a uh, just a basic Fruit of the Loom, Hanes, Gildan, Anvil, uh, Run of the Mill basic mix. So, uh, price twenty bucks. Um, that's definitely more than solid. So we're gonna give them an A on pricing. Uh, printing is an A. Uh, presentation overall that incorporates everything. I'm gonna give it a solid B. I'm not blown away. I think the design is cool. Um, they have several solid designs on their website. Uh, but nothing mind-blowing, and the packaging kind of brings it down a nosh. Um, so solid B overall, um, above average. So if you want to check those guys out, their website is civilian-clothing.com. Um, all the tees on their 20 bucks. They have five different t-shirts. They've been around for a while, um, and uh, good solid stuff, guys. All right, moving along. Second company at hand, Perception Apparel. Plain paper envelope, bubble, bubble envelope on the inside. And um, they have a printed sticker, which is a step up over the handwritten sticker. Nothing uh, mind blowing, but it's better than just a paper mailer. All right, so we got a little sales receipt. Uh, Dare to stand out wristband, which is cool. Very nice. Stand. Out. There you go. And then t-shirt comes in a poly bag, which is nice. Sealed closed. They print on American Apparel tees as opposed to civilian who put prints on all style. And let's see this t-shirt. See what we got. Um, their t-shirts also run $20, and they also have five designs on their website right now. So there you go. Dare to stand out. It's a good thing to stand out. Be bold. Be different. Stand out. Man, that was drifted cheese. But hey, um, very cool shirt. I really dig this. Some cool font work. Um, I like the colors. It's very solid. Jumbo print. Uh, printed from top to bottom, left to right. Not, not too much negative space. And the negative space uh, on the tee works extremely well. The font just looks awesome. Um, really digging it. Uh, print looks very solid. Can't feel it. It's very soft. So print is gonna definitely be an A. Uh, I skipped over packaging, which is a C. Uh, price twenty dollars. It's an A. They do not have the custom printed T tag, which is nothing wrong with that. When you're starting out, this is a brand new company. You can't always do everything at once. Um, you would like to, but maybe instead of printing in custom T-shirt tags, you spend that money on uh, your website. Um, just make sure that you're not cutting corners because you can't, because you don't have the money to do it. 
um, cut corners and use the money in different places, that's fine. Hope that makes sense. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day, and can't expect everything overnight. Um, that being said, though, when you do launch your product, make sure that you uh, spend the correct amount of time or a good amount of time getting it ready. Um, as I know, like Vicious History for a long time, um, I believe they printed with no... Or they, actually, I'm sorry, they printed on uh, Toltex and Anvil 980s, and then they stepped up to um, American Apparel. So that's just a good example of you know growing your brand as your brand gains popularity. So there's nothing wrong with that, at least in my book. Um, as you can see, quality print job, quality artwork, and that to me is more important than the t-shirt tag on the inside. Their website, if you want to check it out, is perceptionapparel.com. Um, they also have a really nice blog. They, they update their blog every couple days, which is a, it's a great thing. Um, the more you update your blog, the more you keep um, visitors engaged in your site, the more they're going to want to come back and hopefully make more purchases. You know, when you launch a clothing line, you launch your, you know, your four to whatever, five shirts, and, uh, and then, you know, you have that blow up where the, the site launches, you get a bunch of traffic, and then it dies. But if by having a blog and having something that people want to come back and read and engage with you in, you know, you're getting that traffic back um, all the time. That way you can keep them updated with what's going on, what's new. Um, if you're doing a pre-sale, um, maybe even preview some de designs and so forth. So it's really good to keep a blog and keep an updated blog, which is key. Um, overall, like I said, printing A, price A, overall presentation, I'm going to give it a solid B plus A minus packaging is the only um, downfall with these guys. And uh, like I said, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, you can't, if you don't have the money to do everything, um, just make sure the things that you do do, you do them well. That's the key. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Thanks again to Civilian Clothing and Perception Apparel. Make sure to check both those guys out. It's civilian clothing.com and Perception Apparel. Dot com. And then, uh, yeah, thanks again for everyone uh, that comments on these videos, subscribes to the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Um, every week we get a few more uh, subscribers, which really uh, helps grow the show. Um, if you get a second, please share the show with your friends, family, neighbors, dogs, pets, aunts, uncles. Um, keep the word going about any clothing and T-shirts. Um, and also, if you have not checked out the new I Am The Trend, please do so. I'm going to start doing a contest every Friday called a tea puzzle. If you follow me on Twitter at all, twitter.com slash I'm the trend, you might have noticed this last Friday. Um, basically what a tea puzzle is, is I show um, five to eight slivers of different t-shirts. And then whoever can name the clothing brands that launch, let, release those t-shirts wins uh, a prize. So we're going to start doing that every Friday, give away free t-shirts. Um, if you're in a clothing line and want to sponsor one of those tea puzzles, as in um, I'll put up a link to your site, a little bit about your company, and you give you know two t-shirts away to the winner, please hit me up, info at I am the trend, and uh, we'll get that all hooked up. So uh, stay tuned, info at I am the trend.com if you need a hold of me, twitter.com slash I am the trend, and facebook.com slash I am the trend. I'm Adam from I am the trend.com, and stay shirty.